Hello. Hi. Hi. Hope can be a powerful force. Maybe there's no actual magic in it, but when you know what you hope for most and hold it like a light within you, you can make things happen almost like magic. Ooh, I like that. So, hello and welcome to Let's Talk About It Tuesday. That is a great quote. Deep. I like it. Thank you. I am Georgette. I am the mom. And I am TJ. I am the son. And we both study and work in the field of psychology, and we are passionate about sharing what we know with you so that you can live your best life. Word. All right. So I do something interesting. I think it's interesting, at least. And maybe our viewers can relate. Um, Occasionally, I buy lottery tickets, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody does that. But what happens is I hold on to them for a while, like months after. I don't check them. I just hold on to them. And... It's bizarre, right? Yes. Yes, weird. Well, you think, but... I know. I think the reason I do that is because as long as I haven't checked them... You haven't lost. I won. Uh Right. I haven't lost yet. Yeah. And so hope... Procrastination. Hope is what we're going to talk about today. Mm, I like it. I like it. All right. So most of us would describe hope as just a basic belief that good things are going to happen, right? Um, when we're hopeful, we have a sense of anticipation about what we, we want, and we believe it'll come true. Um, it's a motivator, right? It gives us confidence. And I heard this about hope, and I thought this was really deep. Hope is at the core of the American dream. Yes. When you think about our country in general, hope is such an important um, emotion. Without hope, why do anything at all? Right. But I really feel like it's more American than anything else. I don't know, maybe because we're from America, maybe because we're a relatively young country, that we still have, you know, a lot of hope. But I I think that's something I would like to look at if we continue this conversation is the universality of hope, Mm. you know. Um, So people who are hopeful have um, four common core beliefs. uh, They believe that the future will be better than the present. Mm -hmm. Um, that they have the power to do that, to make Uh it um, better, Uh, that there are many paths to making it better, and that none of the paths is free from obstacles. Yes, I like all four of those. The future will be better than the present for any of those who are kind of just looking at the future and just looking at stress and anxiety. Just try to be a little bit more hopeful. Can you go back up so I can see them, please? Absolutely. And then I have the power to make it so oftentimes we forget. Ooh, that was weird. Oftentimes we forget uh, the power that we have due to subconscious thoughts or negative thoughts or anything like that. So we have to remind that we do have that power. There are many paths to our goals. So when one fails, there's always another one. There's always another one. There's always a quick focal point redirection. None of them is free of obstacles. Um, yeah, obstacles normally stop us, but without obstacles, there will be no opportunities for growth. So that's exactly where we want to head in that direction. Absolutely. I think, though, the concept of the future will be better than the present is interesting because I think in some cases we want to be careful about looking too far ahead. Of course. Yeah. So I think there might be some instances where um, we want to keep that in mind. Um, Snyder's cognitive model of hope uh, defines hope as a positive motivational state that is based on an interactivity derived sense of successful agency which is Mm goal-directed energy and pathways which is planning to meet those goals Mm -hmm. Um, so he and his colleagues came up with the hope theory which again consists of agency the ability to do it and pathways the way to get there Um, and he made this quote about um, hope he said a rainbow is a prism that sends shards of multicolored light in various directions it lifts our spirits and makes us think of what is possible hope is the same a personal rainbow of the mind all right i'll raise you one more quote Ah. i'll just throw more quotes in (laughs) the very least you can do in your life is figure out what you hope for and the most you can do is life inside that hope not admire it from a distance but live right in it under its roof Wow, I like that. Mm. I like that a lot. Um, There are different types of hope, if you probably never really thought about it before, but there's a realistic hope, and that's having an understanding of the current situation and being open to the possibility of change. Mm -hmm. Then there's utopian hope, which is having a collectively oriented hope. For example, if we work together, we can accomplish anything, that kind of hope. Um, There's chosen hope, and that is the ability to cope with a difficult circumstance with an uncertain future. Mm. And then transcendent hope, which is just a general hope that's not related to a particular outcome. 
And when you think about the different types of hope, I can actually think of examples of because I consider myself a pretty hopeful person and I can think of different examples in my life that fit all of those. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so I think there are some of those that I have more hope for than others. Of course. So it's interesting how... Well, uh, I think one should be able to pinpoint the ones they're not very good at and choose to either work on them or at least address mm -hmm. them from an awareness standpoint. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Some of the benefits of hope, uh, it is correlated with academic and athletic performance. Mm -hmm. Uh, it enhances well-being and life satisfaction. Uh, it's a coping strategy, a protective factor against anxiety, and it's motivational. It's directing. Yeah. yeah. Well, all those things are pretty much meaning that you have not given up, and pretty much when you've lost all hope, you give up. Yeah, it's one Simple of those that. things that's almost easier to define with its absence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like if you Ooh. have no hope, Saucy. that's so much easier to understand than having hope. Mm. Yeah. So I actually was looking online, uh, online. I found this really neat website, which is going to be linked to in our description of the YouTube video. But one of the things it had was a hope scale that you could oh, yeah. take. And so I, I asked TJ to do it. Um, and it, the link will be on your um, uh, in the description as well. Basically, it looks at both agency and pathways. And it looks to see um, basically the level of hope you have. And the higher your hope... Um, the better, right? That's something you want to work for, towards. Mm. And while TJ's doing the quiz, yeah, I'm going to keep doing my thing here. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about hope therapy. I actually didn't know until I was doing some research so that there's an actual therapy um, that refers, that uses hope as part of its tools. It incorporates positive self-talking, hopeful imaginations, and connections with supportive networks. What it does is it gives clients clear goals, multiple pathways to accomplish those goals, and helps them reframe barriers. It falls under the umbrella of what we call positive psychology, which is really an emphasis on getting people to uh, to help live their best lives, really. Um, it helps clients to have a positive view of themselves, the world, and their future, that triad. And so one idea they have to increase hope is to create a hope map. And I think you have some experience. You call them vision boards, right, TJ? Uh, yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Can you describe what a vision board is for us? Uh, a vision board is when you identify either a short-term or a long-term goal, so three months to six months, or I like to do a daily goal, which should be a reminder in your day every single day. And you just cut out pictures that remind you of it, help you produce thoughts about it, help you feel the emotions uh, directed towards it, help you um, identify the behaviors that you can do to get closer to whatever that goal is. Mm -hmm. And then you look at it and reaffirm it to yourself, especially uh, from a motivational standpoint when you're losing some of that. I like that. So vision board, hope map, there are probably other names that people call that. But again, it helps you determine what your, uh, what your goals are and how to get there. And there's also something called a hope journal that you can create. And imagine it has other names as well. Boom. But it's basically thinking about um, reflecting on what it is you want. Again, what your goals are. And to make those goals, we, we did actually a whole podcast on goals. Uh, I think it was our first one, wasn't it? Oh, I don't know anymore. I think it might have been. Too many. Which and is a good thing, so yeah. go back and, and watch that if you want. But setting the, yeah, it was because it was the resolutions. New Year's ah, resolutions. Yes, yes, yes. So go back and, and re watch that video and uh, remember how important it is to set very good goals. Not goals that are too hard or too easy, but just the right kind of goals and how to break those goals down. Um, so goals are really important and then the direction to get there. So um, you looks like you have mostly sevens yes. on your hope scale. Um, and so if you add up numbers one, Four, six, and eight. What is your score? One, four, six, and eight. Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine out of a possible thirty-two. That's pretty hopeful. You what boys about have the hope? <laughs> yeah. In energy. I never told you that. Um, and then what about numbers two, nine, ten, and twelve? Two, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Two, nine, ten, and twelve. Okay. So that is, ooh, same thing, 29. 
Okay, very hopeful. Yeah, you want one of those actually measures your um, your will and determination. The other one measures your ability to um, get there. Heck yeah. yeah, because hope smiles from the threshold of the year to come, whispering, "It will be happier." Yeah. Oh, I hope I didn't block that from the microphone. That'd be Ako Taco. Getting. Let's see, I'm trying to think. Uh, so hope, again, important because um, you can have goals and you can have grit, but if you don't have hope, things are impossible. So hope is, is that mindset that things are possible. Hope is paralyzing. And when we have hope, we invest more in our daily lives, mm. don't we? Mm. We see past our current frustrations mm -hmm. and challenges actually makes us a little bit more resilient. And resiliency and building up resiliency in people is uh, kind of my passion, something I'm really interested in because I feel like that's something that people can do themselves and help them a great deal. All right. Word. Do you have any other quotes for us? Oh, my goodness, do I? I believe that imagination is stronger than knowledge, that myth is more potent than history, that dreams are more powerful than facts, that hope always triumphs over experience, that laughter is the only cure for grief, and I believe that love is stronger than death. It's mm. kind of a, a lot in there. And I got one more. We can do that little one later. What you got? Um, so staying hopeful. Be kind to yourself, uh, curtail your media intake, take mini breaks, practice random acts of kindness daily. Mm, mm -hmm. Um, treat yourself or each day like a precious gift. Treat yourself. Express love tangibly. Uh, revel in the beauty around you. Be grateful. You open up two gifts every single morning. They are your eyes. Ooh, and nothing guys, you were just full of like wisdom and <laughs> inspiration today. I had my vitamins. And then another way to stay hopeful is just is to make a difference. Volunteer, call or write people. Those are some different strategies to um Staying hopeful. You got to start right, it is. Is that all you got, Mom? That is all I have for today. All right. It's really a wonder that I haven't dropped all my ideals because they seem so absurd and impossible to carry out. Yet I keep them because in spite of everything, I still believe that people are really good at heart. Yeah. I and like Frank. That and that's all I got. Which a big determiner of your level of hope is your social circle. Uh, hope is contagious. Hope can be shared. Yes, we are part of that that circle, and we hope that you feel more hopeful after you you listen to us each week. Um, so we are asking you this week to build up hope, spread it to others, so that you can live your best life. Word. And Oliver saying hello. Howdy. <laughs> that that turn off? Yeah. No.